Building a list is hard work, but your time and effort can go a long way. Let's see some useful tips on how to do it. Rod here, and welcome to Burn to Learn. In this video, we'll look at three different ways to create a list. Networking, scraping, and buying. First, networking. This can be divided into three branches. Communication, social media, and website. Communication. Ask for it. Talk to your neighbors. Don't be afraid to ask your friends and family for their emails. Ask everyone everywhere. Also, host events. Promote whatever you have to offer and make sure your contacts leave their emails so that you can stay in touch. If you own an online store, ask for your customers' emails to send out receipts and updates. Many people will even expect to be asked to share their emails. Another branch is social media, for example, using Facebook ads. Keep in mind that Facebook will ask you how much you're willing to spend. You can even add a weekly budget. If you're interested in learning more on how to obtain emails through social media, let us know. If you have one, you can also use your own website. Placing contact forms like pop-ups can be ideal. A good-looking form could be appealing, not annoying. These focus the reader's attention on them since they're impossible to ignore. You could also exchange emails for newsletters by using sign-up forms. This way, you can offer interesting topics to your contacts. That's it for networking. Now let's talk about scraping. What's that? Also called web harvesting, scraping is used for extracting data from websites. Web scraping software may access the World Wide Web directly using the Hypertext Transfer Protocol or through a web browser. Legal? Well, many of the most important companies around the world base their businesses in this technique. If you use it the right way, like Google, it can be a powerful tool. Also remember, you are talking about public information, like the one extracted from Yellow Pages. So if you choose web scraping, keep in mind these points. Learning curve and cost. As we mentioned before, scraping information is through softwares like ParseHub, Octoparse, Agenty, just to name a few. Programming languages. These softwares are based on languages like PHP, JavaScript, or Python. That's why you must have knowledge of them to scrape or hire someone to do the work for you. Also, you should know that many quality softwares have a cost. Finally, let's discuss buying an email list. Google where to buy a contact list and you'll get plenty of options. Even though this could seem like the fastest, cheapest way to get an email list, this isn't always the case. Sometimes you may come across duplicated or even invalid email addresses. And depending on the country you're in, the laws for acquiring an email list may vary. Whatever method you use, make sure you motivate people to give you their emails willingly. You can always offer something in exchange for the emails. It could be in the form of a product like a coupon or an ebook, or educational resources like access to tutorials, tips, or exclusive interviews. Just remember that these methods will be worth your time and effort. Soon enough, you'll see your list grow. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for joining and see you in the next one. Also, join the Inner Circle, our technical skills learning accelerator.